Well, for more on this, I spoke to Peter Forster. He is a geneticist and lead author of the report from the University of Cambridge. And he told us how investigating genome sequencing can actually be used to track the virus mutations. Researchers might be forgiven for thinking at the time that B is the original type, um, but actually it's, it's not. It's type A, which in Wuhan is only a minority type, but B has become the majority type during the outbreak. Um, and that is mutated further into C. Now, the C type is not found in the early phase of the outbreak in, uh, in China, in mainland China. It is found outside. For example, it's well represented in Singapore. And your report says B, for example, is different from C. In fact, your report referred to it as a daughter. Does that mean then that different people from different races and different countries should seek different treatments because they'll be afflicted by different versions or different mutations of COVID-19? I think that's the next step now on, on this basis to investigate whether different virus variants have different clinical presentations. It by no means needs to be the case. And uh, as I've mentioned, we have only few samples from key areas such as Italy and Germany uh, so far. Uh, so one key question will be to gain a, a proper sample base and then to see if we can link the viral type that a patient has with the clinical outcome and clinical presentation of that patient. That, that's research I think that is well worth doing. And do the symptoms differ according to which mutation you have? Well, this is exactly what I mean. I think we need to have, first of all, genomes. Um, we need these data first before we can start asking the question, is there a difference between the uh, virus variant uh, in a patient who might have A and that other patient who might have B or C? Is there a difference in clinical presentation? Do they need different kinds of treatments? Do we need different kinds of vaccines? Those questions need to be asked and researched into once we have good coverage of the virus genomes in these various areas of the world. The first sample was collected in Wuhan by Chinese researchers on the 24th of December 2019, so Christmas Eve 2019. Because we have now in our study in PNAS unraveled the viral tree with the A, B and C types, we can now do something very neat. We can apply the mutation rate of the virus like a clock to our tree and calculate when the outbreak occurred. And doing this, we find that the first infection, possibly from a bat to a human, happened no earlier than the 13th of September 2019 and no later than the 7th of December 2019. So the December, the Christmas Eve sample doesn't really tell us about the origin of the disease at all.